Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna give a go for Tiny Tina's Wonderland one-shot adventure which kind of dropped I would say rather recently and you know you can buy it for money or you can get it for free on Epic Store it was for a limited time offer uh, obviously we are going in well pretty much maxed out and that's pretty much all there is actually um, I think I'm gonna turn the audio or dialogue a bit up because this is kind of like for exposition and everything else should be fine so as usual kick back relax and enjoy so, this so you want to hear a story huh come i'll tell you everything you need to know on a planet called pandora Daring warriors called Vault Hunters scoured the borderlands in search of treasure and power. But they weren't the only ones. Handsome Jack, CEO of Hyperion Corporation, wanted the Vault and its secrets for himself. He and his robotic legions held the planet in an iron grip. The leader of the Vault Hunters was a brave man named Roland. He rallied an army of friends and warriors to fight Jack's tyranny. Closest to him was Tina, a young orphaned explosives expert. She's a little... Uh, <laughs> look, she's completely banana sandwich, bonkers, crazy! Ah, there was I. There was Brick, who only thinks with his fists. Mordecai, a sniper who lost his beloved Bloodwing at the hands of Jack. Torg, more explosion than men. Ellie, a master mechanic. And finally, Lilith, a siren gifted with incredible powers. However, she was not the only siren. Jack's daughter, Angel, used her powers to manipulate and betray the Vault Hunters. Though she turned on her father in the end, the damage was done. Jack was defeated, but at a heavy cost. Roland didn't live to see the victory his friends had earned. Sometimes a hero's reward is little more than a gunshot to the back at the hands of a coward. The ones Roland left behind still had much to do, but one little girl had some ideas for a story of her own. Once upon a time, the Vault Hunters played a game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we gonna die. Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Tina, why don't you start over? Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your bunker master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and- Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because- Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. While our vault hunting buddies beat the slam a jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Mechromancer, the Commando, the Siren- Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl, you know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not here anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said... Roll for initiative, suckers! Oh, character creation screen. Now, I'm going to take Commando. Why? Because I used to be a Commando in the previous Borderlands games. And I know his special ability 
is a turret with rockets with nuclear explosions and I can have two of those bad boys. Very good. So, we're gonna take that. Nah, let's confirm and roll it. You arrive at the docks of Flame Rock Refuge. This place used to be really nice, until the handsome sorcerer messed everything up. I say we head toward the town to investigate. Oh, they're acting like we've never played this game before. And I know that this will not really change anything. It's just so weird. They, they make a Borderlands game for Borderlands players and they treat them like they never played the game before. That is a bit odd. a lot of clicking and I only have two slots so that's not good news lovely day in flame rock refuge a far cry from wait didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town why would things be lovely uh whoops uh, what I meant to say is it's eternal night and you hear spooky music and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people kind of smells like, like butts and dead, dead people After pre-sequel that I finished on Twitch, this might actually be a bit better because it feels borderline. Attacked by a horde of skellymans. They start shooting at you. Okay, this is not working out at all. Like at all. Switching back the gun that explodes. Yeah, let's see. Time to train. <laughs> you know when there was uh, Far Cry 3 and you it's had killing time. And in Far Cry 3 you get Blood Dragon and the Blood Dragon essentially was at the same tutorial level. It was it was terrible. It's 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 kind of like this in here. Also, I'm pretty sure in original you Borderlands. You get close to the entrance ah, to Flame Rock Refuge, but suddenly the handsome sorcerer's pet dragon appears. Surprise attack! Ho oh, oh, ho! I want 
I'ma smack it. You try to attack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing! The dragon attacks and... <sighs> Critical hit! Great. Are we done now? Tina, uh, you can't start your campaign with a boss fight. Players can't win. Hmm. Touche. Okay, everybody back up. Who's next, huh? I wanted to kill something. Okay, how about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is... Mr. Bony Pants Guy? Does that work? This please. That's right. Let her mow you down. Seriously? <laughs> I trapped the bad guy with my turret. Oh, come on. All right, the road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. You should go there. Go, go, go. Oh, God. I'm, I'm I'm not even sure if this is a good idea, but... They're, they're trying to reboot Borderlands by giving you something that is not exactly Borderlands. I wonder why. I, I honestly, I, I wonder why are they doing this. Okay, let's wait until they get sorted out. Wasn't so hard. Oh. You, you know the game might be a little bit broken if your melee attack does more damage than your weapon. Just just an FYI guys, you know? Just something to consider. This needs cop. This needs cop so badly. 
No, so it needs. Wait, why does this gun look like from Far Cry? Maybe every gun looks from Far Cry for me. Let's So we played for a good 15 minutes and I still am, I still don't know if we can play this game as a Milsom. Looks like we can. Hmm, this gun was supposed to be accurate. And this skeleton has no head. I don't know if I'm going to survive a whole hour with this. It might be a cool premise, but it's just so weird. Uh, mm, that's the next one I'm going for. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, mini boss. If you reclaim your ultimate, it basically will charge up faster, which is always a good thing. So this is a better option, but you know, still. Let's go and say hello to the rogue golem. After I get the goods. Apparently this is going to be sold as a standalone game. Which feels a bit odd. But, you know. It, it kind of feels like a DLC. Specifically since you're back with the original Borderlands crew. So yeah. I can see the weak spot. Let's go for the kill. And there's no loot. That means that we will have to clean this up. Kill 25 rock golems to find something. Oh, hello there. Well, as far as you can pull the trigger. I'll take that with me for now. But that's as far as we're gonna go. You can always sell stuff. Oh, 
there are some places to explore. It's not that bad. Go to Flame Rock Refuge. And there's a level 2's. Whatever. Anyway, let me guys know. Do you like Borderlands series? And did this game coming out was a surprise to you? Because, you know... Mordkow, Brick... And the, I think that's Borderlands 2. Specifically, because if you are playing as a commando... That should be Borderlands 2. Come on, get up. Such commando, such wow. Are you telling me I came somewhere I shouldn't have gone? Should be a way up. Come on. Spa space bar, spam, come on. Oh no, they fixed climbing walls with space bar spam. So yeah. I don't know, it, it, since this is the same crew, I would expect this to be a DLC. That's why I'm, I'm personally surprised it's not a DLC. Because I believe it should be a DLC. But then again, I'm not a game dev, so there must be a reason why this was for free on Epic and then it cost money. Which is very weird. Like, that's how it is. And so far, I don't think I'm going to be playing an hour. I think we're going to give it another 10 minutes. And that's it. Because otherwise, this this is not going to go down well. You've entered the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting blimps, always alert in case of battles and stuff. What you gonna do now? Stop playing this game? Let's talk to some town folk. A grand idea. Maybe her bodyguard Eleanor knows where she went. If the Queen doesn't return, we shall never see the sun again! Sounds like we should go find this Eleanor. Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put her piece on the board. Blam! Girl, looks like she got a problem. I punch her problems. I talk to her. In character, of course. <clears throat> Hello, madam. Is something the matter? The queen is missing! She went into the forest to bring the light back to the world! So where'd she go? She said something about using the tree of life to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. Huh? I actually figured out that this place, this map, really, really reminds me of Borderlands 2 DLC content. There are about 5 million DLCs that you can buy for the Borderlands 2. That will make the game, instead of just 20 hours, into about 200,000 hours. And I had my suspicions when I saw these blimps. This town. I'm pretty sure it's from the DLC. This, it was something about this. In hand, in hand, enhanced? Enchanted? Yeah, enchanted, that's the word. Forest and witches. And I kinda know what's gonna happen next if it's using Nobody's the same map. technically allowed in the forest since the world went dark, but the gatekeeper's a real pushover. Just tell him I sent you. I just have to run all the way across. Good. Nope. 
<laughs> yes, the queen went into the forest. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second, then. Whoop, time out. I gotta take this. This Tina. It's Mr. Tor! Tina! Put me in the game! Okay, the gatekeeper is now Mr. Tor. Woo! I had to see you. So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case, you gotta prove your bad attitude to get past me. First task, blow up the village of scouting blimps with the fire weapon. Because reasons! I am really, really, really considering re-downloading Borderlands 2 and going through the DLC list. Like, legit. No joke. Anyway, there were some blips at the main square, I think. The blimps are too far away to destroy with gunfire. It's like a puzzle! I punch your puzzles. <sighs> Weird. It's not weird. It's uh, it's a bit annoying. figured it out sooner. Oh well. Oh well. Maybe in the whole game world that we have all the new games, this is gonna be a breath of fresh air revisiting Borderlands, but People are still playing it. It's not like it's we gone. We just destroyed the village's only way to see approaching threats. We had no reason to do that. Fantasy! All right, that's task two. Go to the town tavern. You doing awesome with that quest? I bet you are. Without the queen, this wait, this town doesn't have a tavern. Okay, you're at the tavern. The bar owner has a problem. Talk to her. Hey, baby. Hey, adventurer. It's like closing time, monster. but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them out for me? Don't be afraid to get rough. Hey, baby, I'm hung like a vault monster. <laughs> Thanks, sugar. Oh, oh, come on, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll never see nothing douchey again, I promise. Bitch! That is unacceptable! Chase him down! Punch him so hard he explodes! I can't shake the feeling that I've actually played this before. That's a bit scary. I mean, that, that's scary a lot.
Because if that's the case, why would they sell this game again? Jesus, move, man. Bunny hopping, fastest way of transportation since 2001. He's getting away! God, Tina, this makes no sense. Torg is ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. Well done. You're now badass enough to survive the forest. Yep. I'll take that. This position is new mission. I want you to blow up the ocean. Can you please get him out of our way? All right, fair enough. Okay, Mr. Torg, I banish you to the stocks. The stocks? Awesome! Anyway, I'm called Davlin the Gatekeeper. I shall open the way to the forest. You will not survive the horrors of the forest on your own. I shall meet you inside and serve as a guide. I'm pretty sure I played this before. Anyway guys, on this note and day and time, I'm gonna say you all bye bye because well this is just another Borderlands game to be honest, so it is it is how it is, you know. And yeah, for lack of better word it's just the same old grind, leveling up, better weapons, better weapons, shooty 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 looty. But maybe it's just in time for Halloween. You enter the forest of tranquility! Tranquility? Boring! Hmm. Okay, good point. <laughs> Dang, now I gotta come up with a better name for the forest. <sighs> yep, this is the end. Sorry for the prolonged ending again. I've tried to end this at least two times, but um... This is it. I don't know. I couldn't survive an hour. At least not alone. I can't shake the feeling that uh, I've played this before. And probably I will go through the DLC content of Borderlands 2. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And, you know, stay classy. And if you want, just give this a go. But please, please do not pay money for this. It's... No. If you have Borderlands, just play it with your body. Play through it again. Don't spend any more money on this. Because this feels like DLC. It's not a... Uh, a different story arc it's not something we've never seen before this is this this is dlc content at least in my humble opinion anyway that's it i'm gonna shut up bye all just for the bonus content i decided to venture inside the config file and give myself all the skill points for my turrets because you kind of need to see why I picked the Commando class. And probably I will... Probably, no promises, I will take them away from my call play. I must say this will definitely be much more interesting than before. I've got it! Damn! I knew I shouldn't have trusted trees. Drop and sentry! Another turret kill! Auto guns chewing them up! Auto guns wrecking things! This is badass as fuck. Beat normal turrets every day. You find a jewel on the ground. Maybe the queen left it to mark her trail. Then we should follow the jewels that lead us right to her. Yeah, what Big Lily Style said. Just stick to the main road and you'll be ace.
This forest grew from the corpses of my enemies. Isn't that a kick in the ass? Hey, maybe after I kill you, a fern will grow out of your body or something. People like ferns. You ever notice that? <sighs> Say hello, darling! Some people might say it's boring to play the game this way. To be completely honest with you guys, you're playing Borderlands because you're bored. And that's the truth. Anyway, bonus content time over. Now bye bye for real Z's. See ya.